Sometimes patients have difficulty managing their diabetes and it's our role to support them. I'm here with Brad Heis, an endocrinology nurse practitioner living with type 1 diabetes. Let's put all the information we've learned into practice with this patient scenario. So Brad, we have a 67-year-old woman with diabetes for 15 years who has A1Cs ranging from 6.2 to 7.4% for the past three years. When you saw her last, she was on metformin extended release 2,000 milligrams and Lantus 26 units each morning. You saw her in person in the fall of 2020, but she didn't return, and then you learned she got COVID shortly after her visit. At that time, she was hospitalized for a week and discharged on metformin 2,000 milligrams and Levomir 12 units twice daily. Her prescriptions are mail ordered, but her insurance coverage for her test strips changed, so she hasn't been checking her glucose for over a year. Unfortunately, many patients were lost to follow up due to COVID, and many patients have medication changes after being hospitalized. This could mean they're now off of the diabetes medication or their basal and insulin dosages are split, among other things. Insurance companies often change coverage for test strips, basal, or mealtime insulin from year to year. This patient may have been shaken up from her COVID hospitalization and weary about in-person visits, and she might not have felt tech savvy enough to schedule telehealth visits. If covered by her insurance, I would suggest moving to Treceiver to Geo basal insulin because she's missing some of her evening doses. This would ensure she only needs one daily dose. Since these insulins are converted one for one, I would change her 12 units twice daily to 24 units each morning. We'd get her new meter and strips to have her test twice daily before breakfast and before dinner. The before breakfast glucose helps us titrate her basal insulin dose appropriately and the before dinner blood sugar may indicate whether she needs additional medication targeted to reduce her postprandial glucose. For titrating her basal insulin, I recommend that she aim for morning glucose from 90 to 130. Every two days she's higher than 130, she'll increase that dose by two units. And every two days she's less than 90 in the morning, she'll decrease her dose by two units. Okay, Brad, so how soon would you recommend she follow up then? Well, we have no idea what our average fasting glucose is and whether our A1C is primarily due to fasting high glucose or hyperglycemia later in the day. I recommend follow-up in two weeks, but at least within one month so she doesn't go another three months with a high A1C. Right, well then she comes back two weeks later with a dose of 30 units and fasting glucose readings in the 120 to 130 range, except for the last two mornings which were in the 80s. She has more energy, she started taking one and a half hour walks most days, and says that some days she forgets to take her insulin until after she gets back from her walk. Her before dinner glucose levels are mostly in target range, so what would you do next? Although glucose levels in the 80s are technically great numbers, her target morning glucose levels are from 90 to 130. This target provides a slight cushion to reduce the insulin dose before hypoglycemia becomes an issue or occurs during her walk. It's important to lower her dose to 28 units and do a teach back on how to reduce that dose further by two units if she has two more morning readings under 90. Because this patient's insulin injection time varies each morning, a basal insulin such as Traceva or Tugeo would ensure the duration of action lasts a full 24 hours. Lastly, her evening glucose levels are in a decent range, so I wouldn't worry about adding another medication to bring them down at this time. I'd wait to see what her next A1C is. In summary, this is her current regimen, titration plan, and follow-up plan. Now she's more motivated to check her glucose because she feels empowered to make changes. Using TeachBack, you can have some assurance she can understand and use her plan safely. 